For the longest time, Chrome has always been my go-to browser on PC. I knew about the Opera browser and other browsers as well, but I didn't think it was worth switching to because I felt like if it's not broke, there is no need to fix it. I ignored the Opera browser for so long because I felt like Chrome was good enough and simple enough, at least for me. But I decided to give the Opera browser a try and it's now a month. I've not been able to stop. I actually had to reinstall Chrome just to make this video, just in case there's something I have to show. I have not used it in a while. <laughs> Alright, so before we go too far into the video, I want to say that I know that the Opera browser has been bought by a Chinese company. So for those of you that may be worried about your data getting sent to a Chinese company, well, I don't think there's anything I can say in this video that will make you decide that the Opera browser is worth switching to. So I want to say, if you want to watch the video, you can go ahead, but uh, all that stuff about it being a Chinese company, there's no need to bring that up in the comments, so please just keep that aside. You can watch the video to find out the features about the Opera browser. I use the Opera browser, I don't really care about data because at this point, I feel like privacy is not something that is realistic anymore. Maybe it's just me. Anyways, for those of you who are interested in knowing all the features that you can get with the Opera browser, here are my favorite features from the browser. Alright, so first of all, it's synchronization. I'm bringing this one up first because I like the idea of having all my browsing activity accessible across all my devices. So for example, let's say I'm not home and I know that um, whatever I'll be browsing, I'll want to finish it up on my computer. I can start browsing on my phone and when I get home, I can carry on my browsing using my laptop. As long as you don't forget your password to your Opera account, well, you can have everything across multiple devices. And from the browser, you can see a list of everything that gets synchronized. As for the extensions, what I noticed is that um, you are not going to be able to synchronize extensions that you download from the Google extension store. You are only going to be able to synchronize extensions that are downloaded from the Opera extension store. And talking about extensions, normally I use Touch VPN on Chrome, but with the Opera browser, you don't have to install an extra VPN because a VPN comes pre-installed. There's also an ad blocking feature on the Opera browser, but I've noticed that it doesn't block all ads. So I'm guessing in this case, maybe getting an extension for blocking ads with the Opera browser isn't a bad idea. So there's this lucid mode feature that you're either going to love or hate. For me, I use it a lot. It's one of those features that once you get used to it, you wouldn't want to stop using it. To activate it, you just need to click this customization button, scroll down a bit and then click this button. With it activated, videos look a lot sharper. If you try it and feel like the videos are too sharp for you, you can just deactivate it. You don't have to always use it. Also, you can click this while watching the video to compare what the video you are watching looks like with or without lucid mode activated. The easiest way to describe what a tab island is, is like a group of related tabs that you have opened put together. Like if you are doing some research on Google, like for example, let's say you are trying to Google the best games of 2024, you can open all the results you want in different tabs and they are all going to be grouped so that you know that that group or island is about the 2024 games that you are researching. Games was what came to my mind while I was preparing for this video. I once got a comment asking me how old I was. <laughs> Apparently not old enough. Anyways, so after you are done doing all your research, sorry if you hear some beds, you can easily close all the tabs with just two clicks instead of having to go through all the tabs one by one to close them. Okay, so the next part I'm going to talk about is not really about the tab island, but since we are still talking about tabs, then I think that this feature is also important. Like if you open duplicate tabs on the browser, the browser is going to let you know by putting a line under the duplicate tabs. This way you can choose the one you want to close and just close it. So if tab islands are like a group of tabs, then workspaces are like a group of browsers with their own tabs. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'll show you what I mean anyways. You can see that right now I have the browser opened and I have a lot of tabs. Now, if I wanted like a clean slate to start with, that means I'll have to close all these tabs and maybe these tabs are too important to be closed right now. So instead of opening another tab and adding to the list of tabs, I can just come here and create a new workspace and I have like a clean slate. So I'm not sure how many workspaces you can have, but I have opened up to three workspaces. 
There are other features that I could not cover in this video because I feel like they are overdone, like the AI features of the Opera browser. So if you're interested in that, I think you can just do some Google search or YouTube search and you'll find videos covering that aspect. I'm sure this is not the last video I'll be making about the Opera browser. I've made some how-to videos and I'm sure I'm going to be making more in the future. But the ones that I've made, I'm going to link them in the description so you can watch them for yourselves. Alright, so that's it for this video about the Opera browser. If you guys found it helpful and you think that you'll switch, let me know in the comments. If you have other browsers that you want me to check out, also let me know and I'll check them out and maybe make a review or an overview about the browser. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.